What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Third yeah. Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. What's going on? We're doing Woo Assassins, Episode 7, Legacy. Mikey, we fight in the Earth Woo. Earth Woo. This is one of my favorite episodes, man. Oh, for real? All right, cool, bro. I, I, I just kind of like the uh, I like the scene. I like the, the way his power worked. Yep. It was kind of creepy that he has like this underground um, chamber. Dude, the, you dude, know, where the dude is a creep, and it's hilarious. He was and, good. I mean, listen, he was good. Listen, it's Kevin Durant. Dude, this guy... Has been in a ton of things, a ton. Yeah. I love this guy. He's he's been he's I been mean, in. I don't remember almost, seeing. Him, dude, man. he's been in. He was in. Uh, he was in Lost. Let's double check that. I think he was in Lost. He was in. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, let's go say Nosferatu. No, he was in The Strain. He played uh, Fett in The Strain. Yeah. He was in. Uh, dude, he's been in so many things. He usually plays the douchebag. Like yeah. a douchebag, like uh, mercenary or something. He usually does. He's just really good. He's a big dude. Just, I love the guy. I love seeing the guy. Um, so fantastic that they got him. That was great. You probably enjoy the fact that this episode was directed by Catherine Winnick herself. Oh, of course. CG yeah. herself. Uh, yeah. Very, very <laughs> cool. So a bunch of stuff happened in this episode. Uh, we're not going to really run it all down. But I just like, there's a few things um, that, you know, first of all, before I, what did you, what did you like the most about this episode? Is there something you wanted to? I like, I mean, like I said, I like the setting, this weird cabin in the woods when when the girl her name was Jill the one that was captured, mm-hmm. um, uh, her boyfriend comes around looking for her and all this kind of stuff. I like the fact that he explained the reason why he's holding her there. You know what I mean? How he said that he's he's dying. He has to pass this on. He's he's trying to find that worthy person. Right. Yeah. Um. I mean, obviously, Jill and her boyfriend weren't the the people that uh, he decided to choose because we saw multiple His statues. His little garden. Or yeah. Yeah, whatever he he turns them into, like it looked like rock or something, right? Like he turned them into stone or well, something. Well, he turns them into stone, yeah. Yeah. So um, I just kind of like that story and the effect when he lifted up his shirt and he's like, like a tree is the bark and all this. I kind wonder of stuff. why that why that is though. Like, yeah, I don't know. That, I didn't know? really say why not, he was. None dying. of the other none of the other woo uh, the woo are dying from their things. Maybe so. it's a part of mm-hmm. that that ability the earth woo maybe they only last a certain amount of time you know what maybe there's there's a lot of things we don't know like why can the uh wood woo heal himself but now the earth woo is dying you know what i mean and well there's a couple questions too even in the following episode about the whole metal woo thing but we'll get into that when we when we uh do episode episode, eight okay yeah yeah no overall i I just thought it was an interesting story the the acting from that character was 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 spot on especially when he was talking to the girl uh the girlfriend uh the girl's boyfriend Mm -hmm. at the door Mm -hmm. there was like a there was like a um, I don't know. I don't know how you. Dude, the dude it. It plays. The dude plays and, creepy, dude. I'd love. I'd yeah. love to meet the man. I'd love to meet the man. He's like, so fun. He seemed that guy's like awesome. he was really, um, like a, he, he had a huge, strong presence. And the boyfriend was like, uh, "Well, I, I really kind of need to look in your, you know, house." And and he, you thought he was going to do something? Yeah, it was. Uh, it, yeah, it was. Yeah, it, was it was so cool. well done. i cool. I love who they have gotten to get these woo. I love it. I love it. And the next episode, we're gonna meet another Wu, and it's just like it's so. I'm listen. Yeah, I'm I'm cool really for- enjoying the show. I really enjoy the show. It's taking it to places that I didn't, you know, I didn't expect, which is really cool. In this particular episode, Kai actually kills him. Uh, yeah. This is the first Wu he actually killed. <laughs> yeah. So it's the second Wu he's encountered. It's the first Wu he kills, and he didn't want to do it initially to kill anyone but he did yeah. and you could tell it's like it takes he's like oh okay yeah. like he's like damn it i i killed so for me and you know I, I could be wrong but in in my in my perception the character he's been like very reluctant 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 but as he's getting drawn in and drawn in and he's seeing what these people could do and what and what could yeah. happen if they're not stopped yeah then he's just like well he got wrapped up in the moment and he killed the dude and then he's like, "Ah, oh, crap! I fucking killed someone," you know. Yeah. So the other thing that we happened in this one, uh, go ahead. You want to say something before I jump over something? Oh no, no, no! I was gonna say at least, at least, you know, he's he's not just fighting some guy that can, he can easily destroy or kill, mm-hmm. Kai. You know what I mean? So at yeah. least it's him or it was him or the Earth Woo. So what do at you at that I point? Mean, yeah, he trapped him. In, yeah, dropped the he dropped the freaking cave like, on him. 
Yeah. That was kind of funny. He's like, ah! ah! (laughs) He locked his legs in, like, the... Oh, that was cool. Yeah, that fight. That was a very interesting fight. I guess that was, like, wood, too. Like, it wrapped, like, it looked like it was maybe, like, tree I think it was stone. No, I think it was stone. I think Was it? Yeah, he wrapped them up in stone. Because then when he... Remember when he caught his hand, and he started turning his hand to stone? Oh, that's true. And then he heals himself with the power, which is pretty cool. Again, some unexplained stuff, but I liked it. Um, Here's another thing. Let's talk about... uh, It's the aftermath of... Uh, Uncle Six losing the Wu, losing mm-hmm. the fire Wu Shin, and it's like he's sick, he's sick. He, you know, he throws up on the side of the road, which is pretty cool. It's like black stuff, and like yeah, it's, it's like pretty the goo. cool. Yeah. He says that. Um. Then the scene in the diner. So we got to talk about that scene. Very yeah. very cool scene. I love the little That's... history lesson. Like again, I love that actor. He's, I'm he, just he's as really American good. as you are, or whatever. You know? Oh yeah, he tells her, and yeah. he just yeah, he basically is like, listen, America sucks. So just so, just so you know, America sucks. Um, diner fight was fun, but yeah. I mean, I guess I didn't expect Uncle Six to 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 hold his own. The guy, the guy's basically got the flu. Well, he's like, yeah, he's all, he's, uh, he's all messed he's all up. Weak and, and... But he's a good fighter though. Like I think he, I, I wish he would have like held his own a little more. I would have loved to see him hold. Well, his I think own it a makes more. sense that he didn't at this moment. Because he guess, yeah. look at what just happened to him. So uh, how about how about his outfit when he comes out of the the store, the general store there, and he's wearing like the mm-hmm. omelet shirt or whatever the yeah. hell it was. I thought that was funny. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, I I said it in the previous episode. I kind of like now that uh, we know that we know what six agenda is, and well, that he doesn't really have an agenda. Anymore, well, not but, anymore. But um, here's the thing: we found out finally how he got the firewood, and I've got a couple issues yeah. with that. So um, I guess I'll just tell you. <laughs> I wanted to know how he found it. Obviously, mm-hmm. he went to bury the man that he killed for Kai, right? And he just yeah. happened to find it. So here's my couple questions. Well, one question and another comment. First, mm-hmm. the comment. Like, j- th- that's just like just dumb luck that he just happened to find that there, right? I mean... Now, <laughs> also, before... <sighs> Am I wrong? The Wu Shin... They split, and and remember when um, Ying Ying was like, oh, they broke it, and it flew to all different parts of the world, right? So I guess that's yeah. what happened? Yeah. So let me ask you this. Have they all... No. It could have traveled, because that was the way back. That was like when it first started. So when nobody was... had it? So nobody... Not necessarily. Someone could have had it. Because so I'm saying, like, so wait, so... Oh, that's true. I don't know. I don't know. I guess, yeah. So, did, so let's just say the water woo, he killed the water woo, who got... How did the current water will get that? We've never seen metal. He, we know that McCulloch, McCulloch yeah. is is the wood woo. Okay, so where you know it's like where the hell? So were there there were other woo assassins. They kill. I don't know. Anyway, it got there. He found it. Dumb luck. Mm. Great. I, I I was just kind of like, all right. It's kind of just like a. I feel like it was a little bit of a cop out because it was like well nothing crazy. But then again. Whatever. Was, like is, I said, like I said is, yeah. before we started recording, it's like a destiny thing. You know? Yeah, he just was, yeah, yeah. And the was other thing is, to find it. nope, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Oh yeah, just the fact that he was like he hasn't been cold in like fifteen years. Like I thought. Yeah, that no, was I, cool. I wrote that too. That's so it's funny when you said that. I was like, oh, I have that. You know, I have yeah. that too. I haven't been cold in fifteen years. Um, yeah, I mean, again, we get we got some we got some information about six and how six got to San Francisco because his father was in gambling debts and in order to pay off his debts they take they took him to. Oh, to that's right. He was taking. Yo, everyone's got just a bad um, bad rap yeah. going into so, this life, you know. Uh, and he and he also explained how he found Kai and how Kai Kai's was beating was, the shit out of these kids and well, he was this well, and that and he was that's well, why he eventually adopted him. Well, he found what happened was. Yeah, he's his. He was found in a shipping container. Yeah, and his dad was dead already. Yeah, and they took him and they put him in this home, or whatever, yeah. and that just wasn't working out. So yeah. you know, he's like, all right, I'll I'll just adopt. I think him. he said after like three days or something like that. Yeah, he's like, and yeah, they, you you just wouldn't have it, and he's like, so I took you and whatever. So yeah, yeah I always said I kind of like six. I didn't. I I always kind of like six, and and I like him more yeah. now, actually. Um. So oh, um, great. let's finish this out. Uh. Uh, Lucin followed them. Yeah, he's been following them. He the whole followed trip. them the whole time while yeah. Kai's in the in the cabin, fighting for his life. Lou comes up and 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 attempts to kill Six, and mm-hmm. it just shows you that how how scarred physically and mentally. Now, don't forget, Six paid for the for the for that stuff, yeah. and he yeah. didn't. And he but he always thought that he did that to him, right? So yeah, you know, but. No, he didn't think that Six did it. He thought Tommy did it, and that was the Oh, point. oh, oh, sorry. 
I, I actually meant to say yeah. that. You're right. That's what I meant yeah. to say. He thought Tommy, but that, no, right. Because I, I heard my words. I'm like, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> right. So he thought Tommy, found out it's it's six. Yeah. And so he's like, you did this to me, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And he's all, but um, nah, he doesn't kill him. And I guess he couldn't kill him. I guess he sees him as a, you know, yo, Lou is in a weird position because Lou works for the triad. Mm-hmm. But the triad is... Well, technically, Lou is working with the the Russians. Yeah. No, but no, but he's also triad, though. That's the thing. That was the whole point, is that he's like... the In the beginning of the show, when they introduced CG and they were doing that briefing, they said that they showed Lou Sin and he was, and he was like, a, like a lieutenant of six, but he's also working for... You know what I'm saying? So they're like, so you got to yeah. watch him, you know? Um... This was also the one where uh, at the end was this the one at the end where we see? No, I don't think it was. I was trying to think. Um, hmm. No, really, the episode ends with Kai killing the wood, the Earth Woo, and uh, yeah, yeah. I don't want you to say what you're thinking because you probably yeah. All right, so else. yeah, again, we you know a little ahead, but we're doing one. So anyway, time I here, mean, so. it ends with it ends with Kai killing. The Earth Woo and the Earth Woo says you have to kill McCulloch. Yeah, uh, McCulloch. So uh, after all is said and done, um, maybe the wood, the the Earth Woo wasn't as bad as a guy as we may have thought because he realizes what kind of person McCulloch is, and if everybody comes together, we're we're kind of fucked. Well, so. don't you know? Don't yeah. I mean, don't forget. Like, according to McCulloch, he's got the other people with him. He's got the metal. Yeah. He's got you know that, and he's got. He tried to get the fire. So, yeah, it sounds like the wo- the Earth is just kind of like like off on his own, doing his own thing, and he's trying to protect the Earth. I wonder what Earth. happened to the Wu Xin for the Earth. Did we see that? Yeah, he took it. He took it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he took it. I don't uh, remember if I saw that he, or not. He took it, and he has it, um, and that's it, and that's all we saw. So, all right, so all look, right. That's, uh, yeah. let's, let's end that. That's it. That was Episode 7, Legacy. This was a good episode. Um, yeah, I just enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed where, you know, where it's gone. I, the road trip and the diner fight. Like, it was just fun. You're right. I like, I like the, uh. Yeah, this episode was good. Yeah. So, uh. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh yeah. I'll say it. Leave your comments below. Let us that's know what it. you're thinking. Um, if you finished it, that's fine. Let us know how you think, you, you know, whatever. And, um, uh, yeah. So. <laughs> all that fun stuff. Third Person Pod and all the social media outlet stuff. We're there. Thirdpersonpod.com. You can find us. It's an easy way to get to the YouTube channel. We got a lot of cool stuff on that channel, not just about Wu Assassins, but we're doing the terror um, right now on AMC, which is a really creepy, really cool show. What do we got? Oh, this friggin' guy. Yeah. I forget. You know what? See? I got my pass. Now, I got now, my passes yeah. for Comic Con this year yeah, already. Yeah. One of my friends, you know, my buddy Nelson from work, he, yeah. I saw him post. I'm like, shit. I got to meet him. I got to meet him over there. I keep forgetting him. You do. He's dude, always busy. He's to... always good. I got, I got my family. We're all going. I need to go. We need to go, dude. Why don't you come? Get a pass. See if you can get a pass for Sunday. I'm going Sunday. Filthy farm animal. See, now you just ruined my my outro thing. Nah, they know what to do. Just go to Third Person Pod. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. (laughs) Blue Assassins. Love you guys. Peace. Peace.